be honest, I did not plan for this video, but I just came to the realization that it's September, which means fall is coming, which means the weather gets colder and you get to wear hats. To be fair, here in the UK, you get to wear hats any day you like because it never really gets that hot. But I also thought that until not long ago, I hated that I had to wear hats. I thought they were just boring, they didn't fit my face. Over time, I started to love them. Now, I wear them so often. They complete an outfit, they keep your hair in place, they hide your roots if your hair is greasy and they just look beautiful. You have so much variation. I think I used to not like them because I did not realize the variety of them, but now I have such a huge collection and I'm just very excited about this topic. I have this kind of hat, I have this kind of hat, I have a simple beanie. Felix got me this one. It doesn't have a front. And of course I have a ton of these berets. But the point here is that there is such a huge variation, so many colors, so many styles, so many cuts, and it's just amazing. So hopefully if you used to hate hats, I'm trying to get you into thinking that they are really cool, but there is also an even more cooler thing that you can do. It hit me two days ago, not long ago. I don't know why I never really thought about it until I did it and I was like, what? So for this you're gonna need very few things, but I'm gonna show you three different ways you can spice up your hats. So for the first one, I'm gonna combine my favorite kind, the beret, with another thing I love, which is pins. And you can select a few, and you can just put them in the front of your beanie. So just take whatever you like. I'm gonna go with the heart shaped one. You can put just one, you can put multiple if they are smaller, I think that looks really cool. It's such a simple thing, but really if you just add a bunch of them, it will look so so cool. You know what, I'm gonna do it actually. Let's put the pug in there, ice cream, yeah, let's do ice cream. And here it is, and you can have fun with it because you can just exchange them depending on your outfit and what you want to express that day. It seems like such a silly thing, but I haven't seen anyone doing it and I'm sure gonna be doing it. The reason why I thought about this is that I saw a hat that had a pin on it and because of it, it just costed way more. And I'm like, well, I don't really like that pin and I have that kind of hat so I can do it myself. If pins aren't your thing, here we get to the second stage of these. You can take a beanie, you can take a regular hat, and you can take a patch. For example, I have this one that says I hate you the least. And if you feel like it, you can iron it in the front, it just makes it a little bit more interesting. I personally wouldn't iron it actually, I think I would just sew around the edges to make it stay. But then if I get tired of it, I can just cut off the thread and the hat is back to normal. As if it was a pin, but you know. It's a patch. And the final thing is for this kind of hat, mine as you can tell has the ribbon around it. That's what I'm gonna be playing with. I can't remove mine, but sometimes, you know, I wish there was a contrast between the hat and the ribbon, so I can just add to it. You can do actually three things with this. Either you take like a little foulard and you wrap it around, so you can make a bow around it and it kind of covers the one that is already there, but you also get that pop of color, which is cool. Very simple, nothing crazy once again, but it does make a difference. The other thing is to take a smaller ribbon and instead of covering the other one that is already there, you can just kind of put it on top so you get a double ribbon and I think it looks pretty cool. But then, the final thing, using the same kind of ribbon, I'm using a velvety one by the way, if you feel like taking another step and really customize it, you can use these to create a ward at the back of it. By taking these, you just place it as you like it and you just stitch it up a little bit and you have yourself a completely new hat. So these were all the tips I have for you in order for you to see the amazing chances and choices that you get with hats. I feel like it's a silly video but I really wanted to do something about DIY and I love hats. There's nothing I can do about that. So I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you very soon. Bye! Thanks for watching!